and Anderson discovered the opportunities to make money in hunting. And uh, in the 1850s, ivory became a very sought after product, uh, especially in Europe. As far as food is concerned, I don't know how they really survived. Many other interested people, adventurers, hunters and so on, heard about Anderson and Ericsson in Namibia and increased the volume of people coming to settle here and to try, especially as hunters, as elephants were widely distributed in the country. Sir Charles Anderson came with a proposal that he could acquire weapons so that the heroes can defend themselves against the Namas. As my grandfather brought in this idea, the turning point in the history of the heroes against the Namas. For the first time in many years, the heroes were able to defend themselves and defeat the Namas. And that's how my grandfather formed that working, very symbiotic relationship between Charles Anderson and my grandfather. Ericsson established in 1870 the big trading store in Omaruru. He looked at it as the center in Namibia. This was the main intent. You can see exactly the foundation here, and it's coming up here and going up there. There and there, it was Axel's Ericsson house here. And from there, Ericsson supplied hunters with wagon, oxen and trading equipment and sent them out into the field right up into southern Angola to collect as much as possible ivory. Heat in summer was a big problem. The travelers normally could only travel during the night. The biggest problem, I would say, was malaria. It was all over. If one looks at the cemeteries, especially babies, Hostilities were actually aimed not at the Europeans, but at their oxen. It was easy game to kill, and we must also remember that oxen and cattle were valuable for the locals to use them to trade with dealers from overseas. He was the so-called mayor, the doctor, the person for every problem in town he assisted. And uh, what my grandmother so admired of him was that people really uh, in trouble financially or hunger without food, Ericsson assisted them. In the school history classes were always Ericsson, Anderson, the top two people we were told about 